legend or lie? Because the ears gave it away. Through history, many cultures have passed down legends. Legends are based on an element of truth. The rest is mythical and left up to your imagination. Oh, you don't believe it until you see it. I've never seen anything like that. And so the legend goes. So what does the chupacabra look like? There are two descriptions. The first describes a creature with a reptilian body and spikes along the backbone. It has red bulging eyes, fanged teeth, and stands four feet high on its back legs. The second, more commonly cited, resembles a breed of a wild dog that is hairless with a prominent spinal ridge and fangs. Through the years, many sworn they saw it. One couple says they found the chupacabra right here in Tucson. Hi, my name's Teresa Monroe, and I thought I saw what was a chupacabra. Teresa and her boyfriend were heading home after grocery shopping and noticed a creature on the side of the road. Hey, look, there's a chupacabra. Lane, and it was laying right here. Ground. Head on the concrete. Right here. Did you stop? We did, and we turned down this way. They drove back around to take a look. What they saw? The ears were like elf-like, like real pointy out, and the tail was super long. And just on the top of it was hair. The chupacabra sightings have been made, but turned out to be a dog-like mammal with a skin disease caused by mites. However, Teresa says there were no dog tags, leash, or collar, and this animal looked healthy. On the top of him was fur, on the bottom and his legs, his lower half was just skin. She said she looked up the similarities between a coyote and a chupacabra, and she says this creature was not a coyote. You don't believe it until you see it, and well, when I, what I saw, I believe that I saw <laughs> what I saw. It just was different. I've never seen anything like that, nothing. No dog, no coyote, nothing like that. It was just different. So, legend or lie? You don't, you don't hear about stuff like that. You know, it's, it's supposedly a myth and, you know, those don't exist. And when you see something like that for yourself, you're kind of like, you know, you, you believe it.